Hello guys and welcome to another Cabin Stories. On today's episode, I'm going to be telling the story about how the Friends of Journalism Discord server got raided by the quote-unquote PewDiePie nine-year-old army. Let's open up this book and I'll see what it says about it. If you don't know, the nine-year-old army is PewDiePie's rabid fan base. Um, while they are called the nine-year-old army, I would like to make an official note here. They're not all nine years old, as that would break Discord TOS. Um, from the research that we conducted, we came to the conclusion that the majority of the nine-year-old army was in the range of anywhere from 14 to 17 years old. Very few were over the age of 18, however. Uh, if you were to characterize a nine-year-old army in sort of a few words, I think fervent would be the, the most apt one because they will do anything that their creator Felix sort of commands them to do. And often, to Felix's dismay, they'll even uh, do stuff that he doesn't ask uh, them to do. For example, if he even mentions a person in his video, the nine-year-old army will collectively go to brigade and harass them. This is sort of what happened to Friends of Journalism. This was during the K-word sort of saga. And at this point, we had just released an infographic that ended up going very viral about the K-word. But somebody had actually stolen the infographic and cut out our watermark. We would later amend this by adding background watermarks to many of our infographics, as well as adding a, uh, a website link to the globe so you can easily spot our, our stuff. But at the time, we hadn't advanced that far. So Felix ended up sharing this meme in his video. I guess it had gone to the top of the submissions board. And uh, from there, it was, it was pretty much constant rating for, I would say, about a week. Uh, of the nine-year-old army because somehow somebody in the, in the group must have already been a member of the server and leaked the server information to everyone after they'd seen it in Felix's video and it very quickly grew to uh, tremendous size. One of the things that I find very interesting is that the nine-year-old army did raid our Discord server, but one of the places it also raided very fervently and affected me personally as I am one of the head moderators for this. Um, was the our Reddit. Uh, little People don't often know this, but we do have a Friends of Journalism Reddit. And on that, I would say we still get near constant raids from people from the nine-year-old army just sort of slowly trickling in here and there. You'll get stuff like quote-unquote floor gang, which is one of their gangs or groups or cliques. And then occasionally you would get quote-unquote ceiling gang, and they seem to be sort of rival nine-year-old factions, but I imagine they're all sort of under a similar banner. Um, so you'd be surprised, but one of the areas that we were the most impacted wasn't actually on the Discord, but was on Reddit, where for, I would say, 24 hours, our Reddit went from being, you know, a place where we would occasionally post articles to being inundated with hundreds of Reddit uh, posts. And it, it, went, it, was, it was got so crazy at a point that our Reddit uh, reader account got glitched out, and it went from... It said we had five, like 100 readers and 2,000 online or something like that, where it was just so many people that quickly joined and then eventually got automatically banned that it just screwed up with the Reddit count. And I would think, I think what happened was a lot of people who raided the Reddit ended up coming to the Discord server. One thing I would say uh, to note about the nine-year-old army raiders that sort of differentiates them from other raiding parties we've had in the past. Often when we have a large raiding party, we'll find one or two people in there who actually aren't just there to cause trouble and want to actually learn. I think the nine-year-old army by far had the least people who actually were interested in the topic and it was almost entirely spammers and, and sort of very malicious trolls like that with very little substance. Something that else I found interesting is, is a lot of, it was a constant, uh, wave after wave of them. However, most of them wouldn't stay for more than an hour without petering out. 
and getting bored of spamming, you know, whatever N words they, they could think of. So that sort of c concludes the way the nine year old army acted. Now, how did we deal with it? Um, we ended up actually contacting the admins of the PewDiePie submission subreddit in order to make it so that people wouldn't be able to share our discord link on there or share some of our content on there that was really causing us a lot of strife. Um, and we managed them to make a few rule changes, um, many of which I think are still in place now where certain keywords are banned from, from their posts or were banned for a period of time to slow the flow of them. That being stuff like the K word, I think the BR word was also banned and mention of our server was banned as well. This was a major help. And I really want to, want to thank new hat who heads our, our, our sort of Reddit, uh, section for for doing that because without that i don't know if we would ever have been able to stop the flow of the nine-year-old army and it's funny every now and then on the discord server i'll just be you know going in the hang zone as i as i do and i will see you know your 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 odd floor gang here and there and at this point i kind of it's a little cute because it reminds me of the absolute overflow that we had when, when they were sort of full spring. Anyway, that has been the story of how we got raided by the nine-year-old army. I hope that any of this was interesting to you or relevant. If, if it wasn't, I'm sorry. I don't really control what you like. I hope at least you had somewhat of a good time. But uh, if you didn't, these videos may not be for you. And expect other content very soon. Goodbye. Ooh, this is a big one. Guys, this is a story about how I became the first journalist on the Chaz official Discord server.